from yesterday. Who was this? Ready, right? Yeah. Picture. Okay, two of you only. I thought there have been four or five years. This one. Are they right? Are they? Oh, they are a bit big. Let's keep as fighter outside eyes. Fighter keep as partner to be young. Then this last program. Last program is am abend um sie uhr und um sie. Was möchtest du singen? Ich möchte singen in Juli auf. Am Abend weg. In von der Sende das erste. Das finde ich lange, lange Zeit. Was musst du singen dann? Ich sehe, liebe Richter Alexander von die Kapsel in Sand. Eins. Aber das ist nicht interessant. Denn was sehen wir? Die Simpsons. Na, das ist. Wer ist es? Am Abend am Uhr und Wunsinn im Ossi. So, um, we are doing today a bit more lessons. <coughs> So we start with uh, a topic which uh, Yao is already by right. Uh, my time, not my time. They will share you with what we are doing the day over. We are there in the middle of the topic. And now just try to call you this one. Now, um, can this switch off my light? So, Manta, Glück und Unglück, I call this session. <laughs> Glück und Unglück. Hmm. What is Glück? I think this one you know already from the birthday party, right? Luck and bad luck, right? Yeah. Hey, we can also say, hey. You have luck, Glück haben und Pech haben. That is just the opposite. Yeah, when you have tech is bad luck. Oh, so um, we have today a photo Geschichte. We had that at the beginning of our course already with Coco. You remember this time? We have different mm -hmm. photos with sounds and so this time it's a bit uh, more text. Okay? <coughs> so the first picture. It's this one. So maybe before we come to uh, the sound, um, just by getting a bit familiarized, where are we here, what are the people doing? Wo sind wir und was machen die Leute? Daddy, a bit more than only one word. <laughs> Wo sind wir und was machen die Leute? Can you see them? Is it too bright here? I'm not sure. Can you see? How oh, is it from behind? Can you see? So, can you please then answer my question? Wo? Sind wir hier on the picture? Wo? Alexander, now the event, I don't get that. Aber ein Picknick? Ein Picknick? Ja, maybe ein Picknick oder eine Gartenparty im Sommer. I don't know, now I don't want to do that. But uh, im Sommer machen die Leute gerne eine Garten. So, that is something like that. Ja, und was machen die zwei hier? Was machen sie? Can you just now you said to for one single word? Maybe you can already put it into a more close sentence. Sie haben mit 
Mein Tag. Folge 5. Hoppla. Na, möchtest du auch Kartoffelsalat? Was? Äh, oh, ja, bitte. Gern. So, hier. Ist das genug? Oh, ja, ja. Vielen Dank. Äh, wie ist dein Name? Ich bin Anja. Und du? Wer bist du? Ich heiße Dimo und ich komme aus Finnland. Aus Finnland? Hey! Was machst du hier in Deutschland, Timo? Ich lerne Deutsch. Aha. Also ich finde, du sprichst schon sehr gut. Oh, danke. Und wo lernst du Deutsch? In einer Sprachschule? Mhm. Jeden Vormittag, von Montag bis Freitag. Und was machst du sonst so? Möchtest du das wirklich wissen? Na ja, ja. Ach, weißt du, Anja, mein Tag ist ganz normal. Also, ich stehe von Montag bis Freitag um halb acht auf. Aha, um halb acht. Und dann? All familiar words already, right? You get it? Now we listen my first to the whole story and then we go on with it. Dann frühstücke ich. Dann frühstückst du. Ja, genau. Und dann? Dann gehe ich in den Sprachkurs. Und da lernst du dann Deutsch. Genau. Von wann bis wann? Von neun bis zwölf. Am Nachmittag räume ich die Wohnung auf. Hey, was ist? Ach, nichts. Gar nichts. Du räumst also auf. Und weiter? Was machst du noch? Gehst du dann einkaufen oder was? Ja, ja, richtig. Das stimmt. Manchmal gehe ich zum Supermarkt und kaufe was ein. Ich gehe wirklich sehr gern einkaufen. <lacht> Und am Abend kochst du dann, stimmt's? Ja, ja, richtig. Richtig. Am Abend koche ich. Manchmal sehe ich fern. Und manchmal spiele ich auch Computerspiele. <lacht> Die Wohnung aufräumen. Die Wohnung Wohn, does that remind you of something? Comes from? Wohnen, right? And that means? Stay. Stay, you live in an apartment, right? Und die Wohnung ist the apartment. That is the place where you live in. And aufräumen is to tidy up. Tidy up your apartment. And that is also to be separated. 
Ja, ich räume die Wohnung auf. Du bist ja ein richtig lustiger Typ, Timo. So? Findest du? Mhm. <lacht> ähm, sag mal, Anja, wie spät ist es? Moment, es ist genau 17 Uhr. Oh, oh. Oh nein. Hoppla, oh, das tut mir leid. Lach nicht. Oh Mann, los, mach schon. Gib mir eine Serviette. <lacht> Yeah, back on the <coughs> 
Garden Party. Auf der Garden Party äh, unterhält er sich mit Anja. Ja, Anja ist da nee. Und äh, was äh, fragt er sie? Was fragt er Anja? No, fragen und antworten. Okay? So, was fragt er Anja? Wie spät ist es? Ja, und Anja, nice as she is, she wants to answer his question and she has her plate in the hand. Then look on the watch. <laughs> And already happened, right? Yeah. That she made her dress dirty. Yeah. Mm. So, um, <coughs> is that all like this as he says? You look at this. It's quite not the usual color when I cook it doesn't look like this. <laughs> so he was easy thing that he Yeah, so he cannot do the two things at the same time is very dangerous, right? And here also he goes shopping. Right? So Before we come to these details, I'll play the whole story once again and you get more details. Time, when does he wake up, wann steht Timo auf, was macht er wann. Get as many details as possible. Okay? So I hope you get the information. There are quite a lot. Yeah? She is asking him many questions eh? and many details already. So, um, I would say now uh, that you don't do that all here in the Plano, you do that now together with your partner, you write a small paragraph, what is Timo doing, doing what thing? Was macht Timo an einem Tag? I need you here the pictures, I leave them with you so you can be better hang along the storyline. So you all have partners, right? You can sit together and keep our friends. Timo stop back and mobile arm. Arm mobile um how up step Timo out. Then so sorry to interrupt you, but is this the first sentence or now I'm not really sure. Is the first part only a oh, sorry. trial or a, where does it really start? Oh you repeated the same word twice. <laughs> Timo stop back and mobile um how up. Timo stark fängt morgens um halb acht an. Um halb acht steht Timo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Timo stark fängt am Morgen an. Okay, am Morgen um halb acht steht Timo auf. Dann frühstückt er von neun bis zwölf. Am Vormittag lernt Deutsch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Then we have to make a full stop somewhere. Okay. He does breakfast four no, hours. No, no, no. <laughs> Dann frühstückt er. <laughs> Und wie viel Uhr frühstückt er? Und wie viel Uhr frühstückt Timo? Um halb acht. Um halb acht frühstückt Timo. Yes. Ein Papier. 
Auf eine Party. Auf eine Party. The preposition I must say to you is that because auf eine Party. Yes. Er geht auf eine Party. Okay. 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 Ja. Anja und Dino essen Kartoffelsalat. Sie wollen spielen. Sie. Sie stellen sich vor. Sie Futter und Löffel sagt zu hören. Vorstellen. Ja. Sie stellen sich vor. Dimo kommt aus Dino. Dimo lernt Deutsch in einer Sprecherschule. Dimo stehe um Kap auf. Ja, wait, wait a second. Stehe cannot be, right? Oh, stehe. 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 Yeah, only a T. Dimo steht um Kap auf. Kap auf. Dimo. Dimo hat am Morgen Frühstück. Oh, this one also. This one, but right, I'm not so keen to hear that. Er hat Frühstück, er hat Mittagessen, er hat Abendessen. You just cancel that all and replace it mit. Er. Frühstück. Ja, Theresa, sehe ich auch. Frühstückt. Frühstücken ist ein Wort. So, we don't say have breakfast. Frühstückt. Is a verb, yeah. So er frühstückt. He he more from the bonum um rapita. Ah, wait. I ask the rest of you. Can you speak to me? Ram di Wonong Um Namita. Auf. Okay, then Auf must be there, but there is not another mistake. What is the mistake? Am Nachmita and this Nachmita must go somewhere else in the sentence as well, in another position. Say it again. Timo rounds the Wonong Um Namita Auf. Must be Am Namita and the time has to go before the Wonong. Yes. Timo rounds Am Namita Auf. I don't know Auf. Am Namita the Wonong Oh. Yes, exactly like that. Timo, Jade, and Coffin. Am Abend, Timo kommt und spielt Computer Spieler. Timo fragt Anja, wie spart ist das Bett? Ist es? Ist es? Dann Anja, an wo es ist dann Anja Anja schon you just had the same problem so that means after time then it's but yeah dann is considered time dann is then after that it's also considered time and when the first position is full in the sentence, automatically the subject goes into the third, the third yeah. position. Yes, exactly. So, dann Anja cannot. Dann antwort Anja. Antwortet. Antwortet. Anja es ist. Ach, sie sind Uhr. 
But in an Alfred are here already, right? Yeah. She's answering already at that it's already at that time. At that moment she's answering, it happens already because she's looking on the watch. Turn around the arm. So can you just give her a final sentence for the last picture, then it's fine already for me. <laughs> Maybe you can use this one. Anja hat Pech. Anja hat Pech. Was passiert? Anja hat Pech. And then? What is going on? Der Kartoffelsalat. Drop. 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 What is drop? <laughs> you all of us are using your cell phone, so what is drop in Deutsch? Drop. Schnell, schnell. Schnell, schnell. Look in your dictionary. What are simply four? Fallen. 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 Yeah. Fallen. <laughs> Fallen. <laughs> and it's the easiest. Fallen. So what do we say there at least? So I don't Fallen. copy paste the whole text from you, I just write the whole the last sentence. Anya hat pen. Hat pen. Yeah, but it is like fahren und schlafen. It has dots when you conjugate. So, fällt. Fällt. Aus. Auf. On her dress. On her. Auf. So, what is her? What is in the blouse? Yeah. 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 Oliver. Right, it's a blouse. Blouse? Yeah. Blouse. You know the words in German. You know yeah. her and you know yeah. blouse. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can be proud of your uh, uh, creations already. Really, it's really good what you do already. But always think, yeah, don't forget, don't forget uh, this one, two, three rule. Subject, verb, time, and time, verb, subject. And don't make here a comma, yeah? Don't, 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 don't. Because then you will automatically go into the English structure and start with the subject. But you are not supposed to do so. The verb comes first, okay? Second position is the verb always. So, then we come back to our screen, yeah? I must also look at the watch, how much we can still do today. Um, maybe I skip one and we just... Um, <coughs> ah, maybe this one comes. Yeah, Stress im Traum. Um, Jason, can you switch off when that is? Are you also losing the stripes? <laughs> I hope that you don't have so much stress now in your last assignments everywhere. So, Stress im Traum, this refers to your materials, page 49. <laughs> and there is a listening comprehension part. Nummer 69. So you have that? 
but I have the text here as well when you don't have it or are too small on your phone or whatever. You have it here on the screen as well. So, uh, Sebastian is the name of that guy. And he is dreaming, yeah? He has lots of stress in his dreams. And uh, we would like now to listen again. And uh, we, all the three venues are mentioned. <coughs> he is dreaming about a scene in the park, at the <coughs> guitar lesson, and in, uh, on the party, right? in the, during the party. So, uh, we should try to which uh, try to find out in which sequence these places are mentioned in the text. You listen to this one first before we listen to details. Okay, just get the venues first. So I train you today more on listening and speaking because uh, you have to do oral, right? Uh, so, let us listen. Kursbuch 5, Aufgabe 15. Stress im Traum. Stell dir vor, was ich geträumt habe. Also, ich gehe zu meiner Gitarrenstunde und plötzlich bemerke ich, dass ich keine Gitarre mit habe. Dann komme ich ins Unterrichtszimmer und da ist kein Stuhl und auch kein Tisch. Das Zimmer ist ganz leer. Ich mache eine andere Tür auf und da ist eine Party. Mein Freund hat Geburtstag und ich habe kein Geschenk. Ich habe einen Teller, aber ich habe keinen Kuchen. Mein Freund und ich gehen weiter. Wir kommen in den Park. Wir joggen und wir haben keine Schuhe an. Mein Freund möchte Basketball spielen, aber wir haben auch keinen Ball. Und dann bin ich müde. Ich will ins Bett. Ja, and so on. So, the venues I think not so difficult to get between all the things which he mentioned. But I think the venues quite clear. So which one is the first one? Guitar. Guitar. Okay. Danach kommt. Party on that, that part should be number three. Okay. So, so now it's a bit different, right? Because uh, we listen here to a lot of things what is he saying there, and you, uh, I give you a hint. Yeah, was hat Sebastian nicht? Okay, what doesn't he have? And uh, the lines, of course, you have to fill in. Yeah? Try to catch this information. There are some more included, but uh, this one should be as well. Yeah? Six of them. Try to get the information, what is missing. Got it? Yeah. You do not the last touch up. And then we get the answers. So Sebastian geht zum Unterricht, aber er hat keine Gitarre. Unterricht? Was ist Unterricht? Was? Hier ist die Klassenlesson. Ja, what we have right now hier ist Unterricht. Okay, im Zimmer. Was ist Zimmer? The room. Im Zimmer sieht er Tisch. Uh, okay, you heard the tisch, is the tisch there or not? So how to put that into a sentence here? Keine tisch. And something else is missing? Stuhl. Yeah, keinen Stuhl und keinen Tisch. Sein Freund hat Geburtstag und er hat Und er hat einen Teller, aber er hat keinen Kuchen. Kuchen. You remember our birthday party, right? So we had also the cake. So er joggt, aber er hat keine Schuhe. Und der last one? Er spielt Basketball, aber er hat keinen Ball. Keinen Ball. Ja. So, do you remember this? Kein, keine, kein? Oder hier keinen, keine, kein? Do you remember that? What does that mean? 
That means no. <laughs> means no, not a. Uh. Okay? It means not a. Uh. So whenever you want to say not a, uh, you don't translate it as nicht ein. You say kein. Nicht ein is wrong. Okay, that's why I don't write it also on the board. You have to take the negative article straight away. We had that already before. I mentioned it a little bit earlier. But uh, it is uh, used some like uh, something like bukan, right? For nouns only. Yeah? For nouns only. And what else you have to do when you see here or here by the stool and the tish? You have to follow the accusative. Yeah, when it is an object, then you have to follow the accusative and also like einen, you must say keinen. Yeah? So whatever we do, you will notice this, we have to know the gender of the noun. There is no way to escape. <laughs> okay? So, so we want to practice this a little bit with some more uh, nicer things than doing filling in the blanks. So we want to play. We play cards. We are gambling. Okay? <laughs> I prepared some cards for you and I have the instruction here. So we can make uh, four tables. So these are the instructions. We play with uh, happy family. Do you know that? Happy family. Okay. Okay, so in Deutsch for this time. Here is the instruction. Hmm. I give every table one. Can you please create tables here? Around, 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 around. 